If we want to graph a rational function, the first thing to do is to plot the asymptotes on our graph. That's going to give us the boundaries of the parts of the rational function. So it's a good first step. In this problem, that's all we have to do. We just have to graph the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Now the rules uh, for these vertical and especially the horizontal asymptotes, um, they get a little complicated. So we'll take this a step at a time. The easiest part is the, the vertical asymptote. It's where the denominator equals 0. So here's our denominator, negative 3x minus 6. Uh, as long as this function is in simplest form, that is, there's nothing you can factor out and cancel from the top or bottom, then all you have to do is look at this bottom, this denominator, and see where does that equal 0. So you could just pull it off if it's not immediately obvious to you and set it equal to 0 and go ahead and solve. So I'd add 6 to both sides. I'd get negative 3x equals 6. Then I divide by negative 3. And I'd get x equals negative 2. Now you might be able to just do that in your head, asking yourself, what can I plug in um, for x here to make this bottom 0? And you come up with negative 2. What this means, though, is that we have this line. This is the equation for a line, x equals negative 2. And usually you draw this as a dashed line. I'm just going to draw it as a, a red line. at x equals 2. So that is our vertical asymptote. There can be more than one. If you have a quadratic down here, uh, you, you might have two. But in this, in this case, we only have one vertical asymptote. Now the horizontal asymptotes, there's a whole set of rules. And what you need to do is compare the highest degree term of the numerator and the denominator. So I, by that, I mean the power of x. Is it x cubed or x squared? Just plain old x. Is it just a number? You know, just a number you can think of as times x to the 0, because anything to the 0 power is 1. So this 5, we think of this as a, a degree 0 of x. Um, and the rules are, if the degree of the numer numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, and that's the case here, we have a 0 power of x on top. We have x, so x to the first on the bottom. When that's the case, the asymptote, the vertical, sorry, the horizontal asymptote is always at y equals 0. So we could just go ahead and draw that in. Even though it's not the case for this particular problem, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator, there isn't a horizontal asymptote. Uh, there might be a diagonal asymptote, but we'll get to that later. And if they have the same degree, you have to look at the leading coefficients and then uh, put one over the other, the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. And you're going to have y equals that number as your, as your horizontal asymptote. So we'll practice all of these more as we go along. But this is a first attempt at drawing the asymptotes before we graph a rational function.